How you doing everybody? I'm Marsh Brian Sheffield. Welcome back. It's good to have you with me today. Uh, I'm going to continue along with this abstract work I've been doing. And uh, I've got a piece here in acrylics. So I'll widen the camera out so you can see it a little better. And uh, Wow, that's pretty big. It's a big three feet foot piece. And uh, it's a butterfly piece. And uh, we're going to recreate this. And uh, spray art. This is done in acrylics. No. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to recreate it in sprays. Even though the canvas is a slightly different shape, It'll be all right. We'll uh, we'll get it done. Uh, I'm just going to start off with a with a basic background, and then uh. Then we'll uh, then I gotta make some stencils. Maybe. And we just kinda hit it up like this. You want to come out with some blue? Because I want purple in my piece. I, I, I like to have purple. But I really like the color scheme I've been working in. So we're going to continue along with that. And hit it blue one more time. And uh, white on top of that. I'm not going to do a rip, I'm going to do a drag. We're going to drag it instead. Like this. Do it just like that. And uh, of course you got to burn this. Bubbled up pretty good there, so you get some relief in there. And uh, it's still just a little bit wet. That's all right. <clears throat> you know, you, you want to follow that same shape. Coming down this way. Almost out of this black. I got another can, so. But I'm going to run this one dry. like that and then you blue again just like before and red and blue one more time on top of that White on top of that. And you want to drag it the other way. And drag it like this. like that then uh, you gotta let your paint sit for about 10 or 12 minutes and then we'll come back and do some more I got a stencil made out and uh, really what I'm doing with this is all I'm doing is using it for a guard to uh, go ahead and finish this area off and uh, you'll always end up with two parts to your stencil so when you're done cutting your stencil don't throw away the other parts because 
when we start working on the wings, what we'll do is, is we'll take this and we'll lay it down like this to protect this part. And we'll also do it on the bottom like that to uh, do the wings. And then we'll lift these back up. Anyways, you want to uh, lay this out. And the only two colors we're going to use is black and white for uh, for this part. So you just come along this edge and spray a little bit of black and that's going to give it a defining line. And you can always come back and touch that back up if you need to. So don't throw this stencil away. You want to save it. Catch this while it's wet. Just like that. And a little more white. And you just kind of keep going with it until you're happy with the color that you got. I like, uh, I really like moonlight colors, so I kind of went with that, and uh, pick this up, and you flip it around for the other side, and do the same thing. Now we're not going to burn this, what we're going what, what, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to let it kind of sit here and dry on its own. You can continue to work on a piece like this. If you want to, I like to take breaks because I'm a little bit of an older person. I'm 48 and I can't <clears throat> bend over a canvas like I'm 15. So that's why I take so many breaks, everybody, because I'm old. Anyway, you come off like that. And then uh, this is going to be a step-by-step -step thing, so, you know, that's the next step. Okay, so you want to keep going after you get some more stencils cut out. And uh, one of these days I'm going to do a behind-the-scenes thing with the stencils. I might even start making that part of the video. If I'm going to do a stencil and show you how to cut it and all that with in one or two of my videos. Anyway, you come across like that. because we're going to do a slightly different kind of drag on this one. Because remember, butterfly wings go in opposite directions. like this and then you drag it again that's all we're gonna be doing we're not gonna be doing any ripping on this painting just dragging and don't worry about all this overspray and stuff we're gonna come back and tighten that up and uh, all you do is you flip these over Make sure you wipe that edge off good. You can just flip these over for the other side. Actually, that's not. That's right. 
go right there. I'm going to take this one and wipe that off. Like I said, anybody that sees this and they want to do something similar, knock yourself out. Uh, I'm more into the showing people how to do it than actually getting out there in public and doing it in front of a crowd. I'm not much of a people person, so I doubt if you'll ever see me out there doing a show or something. I might one day. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all works out. If I ever get invited somewhere, I might go. But you just kind of drag this out. Get your stencils up. And I know it looks funny right now, but uh, it's going to turn into something really crazy. Anyway, uh, okay, so you lay out your stencils for your next step. And what I want to do is I want to leave this color here in the middle. And I want to darken just the edges and let that spray kind of fade back in. And it'll make it look rounded like the actual, the natural body when you do that. Just like this. Just like that, and you want to leave some of that color in the middle there. And when you lift this up, it'll give you the shape of a body. Of a bug. A bug body. It's a bug body. It's a bug planet, a main planet. Anybody out there that likes Starship Troopers? Anyway, uh, just kinda got, I got my stencils here off to the side and I'm gonna be using them for other things. But uh, I'm gonna open this can of white and I'm gonna start doing a little bit of highlighting. Uh, about a medium size. set this up right so y'all can see good. Anyway, whenever you're doing this, you can do it in kind of a random pattern. Uh, whatever you feel like you want it to look like. I like geometric type stuff myself personally. So uh, I'm going to go with along those lines. something kind of like that somehow we've got to make this line disappear y'all uh, I don't know that I'm liking that too much I might have to guard that and come back with black we'll see 
we'll see how it all works out. Anyway, you want to connect things together. So you got the basic shape of some wings here. It's not exactly wings. I mean, you know, I'm not trying to paint a, a real looking butterfly. This is just an abstract design. And uh, when you come off with something like this, you never know what you're going to get. pop in highlights wherever it is that you think that they would live. Add you some interest. And I'm going to come back on the outside of this and do like a frame type thing where it frames the whole piece. And uh, I want to enclose these wings. I only want to go up to about right there though. Something like that because I'm going to do something else on the outside edges like I said to frame it to frame it get give it that frame look there or something like that remember you want to cover this line all the way up and butterfly wings aren't exactly perfect on the edges so don't worry about I mean we're not uh, We're not laying detail for a paint job on a car. We're doing a piece of abstract butterfly art. So uh oh, got something on there. I don't know what that where that came from. It's a little quick strokes on this back wing, I think. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So 
something kind of like this. It's turning out pretty good so far. I like the way it's looking. Not unhappy with it at all. Concentrating on what I'm doing is why I'm not really saying much, everybody. Uh, trying to balance out this effect from side to side. you're going to use some of your original spray art skills like a lot of people start off doing planets and stuff and universe scenes and solar systems and stuff like that and that's cool I've done some of that too uh, I like it it's not all I'm going to do I, I, I like to work in all kind of different styles and do different things so there's no telling what it is I'm going to paint next for you because sometimes I don't even know I don't really have a plan I just kind of come out with it however it turns out is however it turns out And, uh, doing pretty good so far. Still a couple of eyes. So remember, this is an abstract piece and you can do it however you want to. There's no limitations, there's no boundaries when you're doing abstract work. you would like and whatever fashion it is that you think it should get. I kind of like that just like it is. Just like that. away you're not going to really need this white much anymore so you can pop that top back down <coughs> and uh, here's where you're going to use some of your old combine some of the old with some of the new Come back with your white. Lift 
that up. Black again on this side. highlight that space and one more time for this other way Like I said, this is abstract. These don't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but you want them kind of close so it makes sense. Now, lift that up just like that. And I'm going to let this dry for a little bit and then uh, we'll come back and do some more. All right, everybody, for your next step, what you want to do is you want to round off the edge of the edge of your wings here on the canvas and then uh, we're going to come back in and uh, frame this in we're not going to cover the wings just in between like this and uh, anyway you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute got to put that in there come all spray paint done got all over it I need to move my brushes away from my sprays I guess Oops, that's white. We don't want white, we want black. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to come in from the edge of the canvas. And it'll round those wings off. You want to do a, a rounded shape like this. Kind of like that. I'm trying to work around this camera so that y'all can see what I'm doing. Anyway, you should just kind of do it like that. pieces do I need right now whoops I bumped the hell out of the camera that time let me check make sure the picture's right make a little adjustment all right there we go all right so you want to get these two pieces that you were using uh, oh crap no wait I haven't done that I haven't done that down there yet So we'll do the top and the bottom. that to find an edge. You don't want a whole ton of spray paint on there, just barely a touch. And, uh, you want to come back in with this long piece on top of that and kind of eyeball it. Just like that. And then come back in with white. Barely just like that. I'm gonna lift this up. You wanna lift this one up. You wanna 
gonna be real easy with it. When you do that, Come back in on your bottom and do the same thing. You want to come in with this black just barely. Except you don't want to cover this body. And you see how thick it was there on the on the other side. You want to kind of mimic that, just like this. Come back in with this white. Lift this up. Always lift to the outside edges of your canvas. something like that uh, I'm gonna open up my black my black liquid paint that I got get my big brush get the big brush Anyway, you come right there in the middle. Make you a mark like that. this I don't know if I'm spot on or not people we shall see said the blind man anyway we're not going to use the big brush right there again anymore but I am going to use this black some more so I'm just kind of set the lid on top like that and kind of push it down some and then uh, we want to come in with red next. Get one of your smaller brushes. Whatever size you think. make these abstract travel looking art just like this and uh, can, if you're working on several pieces at once you can do it over do several pieces over the course of a day pretty easily uh, you could make up to five or six of these if you were kind of rotating your pieces as you work if you're trying to make a living as an artist uh, I'm not necessarily trying to make a living as an artist but uh, I do more studying I, I do about as much studying as I do actual artwork because when I do one of these pieces it's in segments and it's over the course 
of almost an entire day for one piece because I'm studying and all of that kind of jazz to do other things and uh, you come off with something like that and then you mimic it down here on the bottom just like you did with the black I really am going to have to let this dry for a while because this liquid paint that I'm using right now it takes a really long time to dry it takes hours so it'll be another three or four hours before I start the video camera up again and well no it won't be that long actually because all I've got to do is the edges here on each side and then then we'll be done and maybe it won't interfere with with my wet paint here if I do it right anyway I've got to go make some new stencils for right here and right here and then uh, we'll come back and we're gonna finish this off well I gotta get this camera just right everybody so y'all can see what the hell I'm doing okay for your final step just want to kind of hint that white and do the same thing on the other side like I said Sorry about that, everybody. My phone was ringing. I'm kind of expecting company and be all right. Uh, you want to follow the curve here of the wing with a rounded shape that you might have cut out somewhere. And uh, just come back in and you touch that white. Pull these up. You're not far from being done. And now you get your big brush again. And I'm just going to do one stroke here. this on each side I dropped a little dot see that oh well it'll just have to be the imperfection in this piece it's just the way that works sometimes you make a little mistake and there you go and you come back with this red with your smaller liner brush like you've been using to finish this piece off kind of follow the pattern like you had up front up top and up bottom there
little imperfection right there is bugging the crap out of me. get this surrounded just like that and uh there you go we're gonna call this tribal influence y'all have a good day now